yes, Mello, I've got a question and a follow up. I'll ask the first question first. What was the best part about tonight for you? Uh, the best part about tonight was just pretty much just being there, stepping out on the court and playing. And the follow up is not basketball, but did you just buy Cam Newton's old condo in Charlotte? Uh, stuff like that is just uh, pretty much personal, so I really uh, don't really talk about that. Danny. LaMelo, Danny Thompson with the three-point conversion. Tonight was your first basket in the NBA. Can you walk us through that moment when the ball went through the hoop? Can you walk us through it real quick? Uh, I think uh, Miles passed the ball. I pump fake, so I still hit the three. That was pretty much it. <laughs> And you had a big smile on your face. Was it a sigh of relief, or is it the fact that this is my first of many baskets to come in the future? Uh, really, um, neither, I would say. I mean, I was just happy to be out there, you know? So I'm pretty much just happy playing the game. Thanks, Lamelo. Yes, sir. Thank you. Rod? Hey, Lamelo. Rod Boone here. Bismack Biyombo has kind of been somebody that seems to kind of be out there with you just, uh, I guess, as a mentor on the court, man. What's it been like to kind of have him take you on his wing? And what's he telling you out there to kind of help you out to, to be a better basketball player? Uh, yeah, definitely amazing having somebody look out for you. It's like a big brother. So, yeah, it's a blessing. Jacob? Yeah, this is Jacob with USA Today. Um, you obviously went, I think, a little over a year without playing a, an actual game. What's it been like these last – couple of nights to finally get back out on the on the court and compete again man like I said pretty much just a blessing for real out there doing what I love so yeah it's a blessing thank you yes sir thank you Scott get back to you Mello can you talk uh, specifically about what you saw on the two alley-oop assists that you made that both resulted in dunks uh pretty much saw my teammate coming and saw through the lot. And in the second play, I saw Miles cutting, saw through the lot. <laughs> Is the, and then you threw a really long pass to Bismack, yeah. uh, about 80 feet, and then he didn't shoot it from about two feet away. Did you tell him he's got to he's got to dunk that one as well? Right. Yeah. Definitely. He said he's gonna start dunking. So I mean, we're gonna see. <laughs> but I, I think he lost his like his footing. So it's nothing really. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Richard Walker. Uh, Lamello, after two games, how do you assess where the team is and where do you need to be to be ready for the season opener? Oh, can you repeat that for me, Mob? Um, after two games, where do you assess where you are as a team and, and what are you looking for to be ready for the season opener on December 23rd? Oh, yeah, we're looking forward to that day. But obviously, we're just trying to get better every day and keep growing. Christian? What's up, Melo? Uh, Christian from Fox 46. Is there uh, someone in the locker room you kind of uh, put you on, put rather, they've put you under their wing and you've kind of been learning from them? Uh, what happened again? Has there been someone you've been kind of gravitating to in the locker room, kind of, they've put you on your wing, kind of showing you the ropes of the NBA? I mean, I had a big brother, so I kind of already knew the ropes. But, I mean, like I said, it's all love in the locker room. Everybody cool, everybody dope. So, yeah, it's all love. We'll uh, wrap it up with Raphael. Hey, it's going Melo. It's Raphael from the three-point conversion. It's a quick question. Um, you told me after the first game that the game was pretty – it was faster than European playing overseas, but did it slow down for you tonight? Uh, I think I got more in the floats tonight. So, yeah, I guess it was a little slower today. But, like I said, the game fast-paced. So, yeah, it's still fast. <laughs>